I don't know what's worse. The ones I let treat me like dirt, or the ones who let me treat them like dirt. Sad little men. Pathetic little me. Yeah, well, uh, this sad little man's got a juice bar to open. Maybe it'd be best if you went home, eh, and had a cup of tea and a Bex. I do find it alarming that things got so volatile with the students. I expect emotions are running very high. Well, it's no excuse for direct disobedience. Look, you can say there was no harm done, just a bit of sand being thrown, but the intent was far more serious, I can assure you. Well, call a school assembly first thing tomorrow morning to discuss how regrettable the situation was and move on. But that's effectively sweeping it under the carpet. If you make a big deal of this while the students are still upset, it'll only fuel the fire. This will blow over in a day or two. That's exactly the sort of thinking that's given rise to this problem in the first place. Are you saying that I'm to blame? Yes. Your lack of discipline has sent the wrong signals to the students. They think they can get away with anything. And what would your solution be? Put the whole school on Saturday detention. Expel the main perpetrators. Look, I, I think that, um... Taking such an extreme approach would be a mistake. Please just call an assembly, discuss the issue and forget the punishments. Give them a green light to run riot. Um, I am still the school principal. Actually, the department has appointed me acting principal in your absence. What are you saying? Well, hold due respect, Sally. This is just a courtesy call to apprise you of the situation. I've told you the course of action I intend to take. The department made it clear when they appointed me, they expect me to bring order back to the school. Okay, well, obviously I can't change your course of action, but I do want it noted that I don't agree with your decision. It's duly noted. Don't be fooled. The department may say that they want you to bring order back to the school, but if this blows out into a full-scale student rebellion, they will come down on you like a ton of bricks. That's a risk I'm prepared to take. Fine. Okay, then. Hope you feel better soon. Why do you need to knock? Well, I didn't want to disturb you guys. I thought you might be, uh, making up. Rick's gone to the shops. It won't be long. Yeah. Is everything okay? Fine. I just wanted to remind him staying his toes. Oh, I think after what happened with Sally, he will. Mm. Hey, mate. Hey, mate. Good to see you. Everything good? Yeah, fine. I just want to brief you on Johnny Cooper. So there's news? What? Well, nothing definite. We've had a few suspected sightings, but no sign of Johnny in the district. Opinion around the station is divided, though. But a lot of the guys seem to think that he has left town. And what do you think? That he came to do a job. Right. And me and Sam are still around. So he could be lying low, waiting for another opportunity. The police presence around town has been scaled back, so it's really important that you stay alert. Yeah, and I, I will, mate. Thanks for the heads up. Well, uh... Anyway, I better get going. See you, Jack. Yeah. See you, Maddie. Yeah. See you, Rick. Maddie's not answering her phone, but I'm taking that as a sign. Is that good? Yes, it's very good. Losing Mr. Baker was just the worst thing, so for Rick and Maddie to get back together at his memorial, it's like. The one bit of good that we can take away from it. You know, it's awesome. Despite all their problems lately, they've found a way back to each other. Great. What about you? Are you, are you with someone or...? Uh, no. That's complicated, but it's finished now. Hank and I'm done. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Some things don't work out the way you think they're going to. Amen to that. Martin Bartlett, the guy that was here earlier, he's the deputy principal. I think he's got his eyes on my job. Why? What happened? Oh, we disagreed on how best to deal with a particular situation and he's had the nerve to go over my head to get permission to do things his way. And now the regional director wants to see me to discuss the issue. Oh, that's all you need. Yeah, exactly. You think there's enough going on. 
And the worst thing is not him trying to make me look bad, it's that his way of dealing with this is potentially disastrous. Well, Sally, I hate to sound like the doctor here, but you're really not up to dealing with this. You need to rest. Yeah, I know, but I'm just so furious about this. I'm just helpless. I can stop him from coming by if you think that'll make a difference. Oh, no, he's made his point. I just hope this is not the same battle we have to have every time we disagree on something. Surely the department will take into consideration your circumstances at the moment and they'll be understanding. Mm, yeah, I don't know. I, I've just got this terrible feeling that Martin Bartlett is going to find some way of coming out of this looking good, letting me wear the blame. Hello. Hey, Jess, how you going? Al kicked me out, so I thought I'd just come in here and see what you were doing. Oh, well, yeah. it seems like I've got a school reunion to go to. Oh, that's so nice. Are you going to go? Yeah, I suppose. I've never been one before, but I don't know how they found me, but it could be amusing. Yeah, well, when's the date? I'll, I'll put in my diary right now. I'd love Jazz, to Jazz, go Jazz, to Jazz, 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 don't, don't worry about it. If, if I go, I'll be taking Rachel. But look, not, not that I don't appreciate your offer. We could have had a lot of fun, I think. Yeah. Well, uh, it's probably full of stupid, fat, balding accountants anyway. Not worth it. Oh, you don't sound too happy. Oh, I keep reading this paragraph over and over again, and every time I finish, I realise I haven't taken any of it in. Well, you said you had a headache before that can affect your concentration. Yeah, that and everything else. Well, if you want to go home, I can write your certificate. No, I'm just a bit stressed, that's all. Actually, speaking of stress, I think Sally should be encouraged to rest a little bit more. If you could just emphasise that with her in your next session, I'd sure. be great. Hey. For you. What have I done to deserve these? Well, I need a reason to spoil my wife. <sighs> yeah, I've been a little bit down the dumps lately. Thanks. You look fine, really, but it's very sweet of you. Hey, did you hear that Rick's back in town? I just went over and saw him and Maddie at Dad's place. Rick's at your dad's place? Yeah, he came back for the memorial. He should be safe enough there, though. I really gotta run. <laughs>